viruses can be deadly, but what if a virus was beneficial? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Theories, the show where we pray to our Lord and Savior, Arceus, so that he doesn't send us to the distortion dimension where Giratina will feed us to White Hand and Buried Alive. First things first, before we begin, this is one of the first theories asked by an old friend of mine. So big shout out to one of my oldest friends, Tammy. Today's theory, what exactly is Pokerest? What has it done? And how did it spread? We're not talking about Spider-Man and symbiosis here today. No, we are discussing Pokerest. The infamous virus known for causing only positive things. Pokerez is an example of a mutualistic virus. Admittedly, I did not know what that meant at first. So let's define what a mutualistic virus is. While seemingly oxymoronic, a virus is classified by infecting cells rather than negative effects in which both the host and the virus benefit. Again, not symbiosis. Viruses with possible positive effects exist in the real world, but all of Pokerez's known effects are objectively positive. A notable difference between biological viruses and the Pokerez is that biological viruses infect the host cell by mutating the cell's DNA. Pokerez only affects the host Pokemon's effort values, so no host's individual values, which are regarded as the Pokemon's analog DNA. However, that could be questionable with how it actually originated. Seems like a lengthy way of saying that Pokerez is a good acquired condition. Pokerez is a virus, and like all viruses, it spreads in similar ways, by contact, battling against, with, or near Pokemon that has Pokerez. Even a Pokemon Center cannot cure the condition known as Pokerez. Contracting the virus cannot be cured by normal means, except by breaking the fourth wall, and that is the only way to remove the condition. If a trainer wanted to remove Pokerez, they would have to trade their Pokemon to the game Pokemon Stadium or to Generation 1 games. The reason for this is that Pokerez didn't exist in Generation 1. But wait a minute, Pokerez didn't exist in Generation 1? Then when? What? How? What? Is this a plot hole? Even so, it works in my favor. So far we have identified what Pokerez is, what it does, how it spreads, but perhaps we should look at its origin. Pokerez began showing up in Johto two years after the events of Kanto. This means that Kanto was completely immune to the virus two years before the events of Johto. Taking into account the timetables, the events of Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald occurred at the same point as Red, Blue, and Yellow. But Proto! Talking about timelines are boring! But Proto! This isn't medical school! But Proto! Bulbasaur can learn whirlwind! Comment section, bear with me. Working hard to make this entertaining. Some things are just always going to be boring. If Pokerez completely skipped over Kanto, that means it wasn't exposed to that region. However, the events of Johto means at some point in time, the virus started spreading. Tying this all together requires many references of my previous theories. Mainly, Professor Oak used Selby to time travel across dimensional space and time to find every Pokemon. Obviously, Pokerez wasn't attached to Celebi when it first began. At some point in time, Oak and Celebi must have encountered the virus's origin. Where did this virus originate? There is only one real reference to a virus Pokemon. 
This Pokemon originated from space, much like Clefairy. Unlike Clefairy, this Pokemon is a mutated virus that upon exposure to a laser changed into a physical form. A Pokemon that is able to alter its own form by upgrading its speed, defense, and offensive capabilities. Who's that Pokemon? It's Deoxys, the DNA Pokemon. And viruses have been known to alter DNA. Still skeptical? Let's take a Pokedex reading. Just one. An alien virus that fell to Earth on a meteor underwent a DNA mutation to become this Pokemon. A Pokedex entry? Who wrote the Pokedex again? Professor Oak. And Oak came in contact with Deoxys long ago. Oak visited Deoxys in its origin state, and using Selby to time travel, he used it to become infected with the stat increasing virus known as Pokeres. After Oak finished his time traveling adventure, he left to make his mark on the world and went to finish his work in Kanto, leaving Selby once again to guard the forest. Since Pokerez doesn't affect humans, Oak didn't spread it to that region, but every other one was affected thanks to Oak's time traveling with Selby. This spread the virus to all Pokemon existence, including Arceus, thanks to the help of Selby's time travel. The virus's magnifying attributes caused normal creatures to even change. Squirrels became sentries, owls became hoot hoots, and alligators became totodiles. While some Pokemon were obviously created, Pokerez definitely has its place in causing such evolutionary mutations as the creation of several Pokemon. Pokerez, spread by Oak and Selby, originated from Deoxys and caused massive mutations among the animal community. A beneficial virus? More like a DNA altering virus from space. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and share my theories. Feel free to comment below if you agree or disagree with my take on this theory. Also, feel free to leave a theory you would like discussed in the section below. Just be sure to first see the Pokemon Theory playlist, where there are over 70 theories completed already. I've been your hostess with the mostest. Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. Good gaming, and God bless. I hope you enjoyed that video, and now time for a public service announcement. I'm Proto Mario, leader of the Maverick Rebellion. Are you tired of giant YouTube partners never replying to any comments? Are you sick and tired of seeing large YouTube partners making great videos, but never releasing any for weeks at a time? Are you tired of the mundane, continuous reality that keeps being pushed in your face? Copyrights, violations, videos being taken down on YouTube. Join the rebellion today and become a maverick where all of that will change for you. Just click the subscribe button, you'll be in great hands. I'm Proto Mario, and I approve this message. Mavericks Unite. Please note that in all my videos, if I use images from Google, that I do not own any of those images, and all images attained from Google are owned by their respective owners and copyrights. So please remember this when watching my Pokemon theories. Thanks.